Apollo kit reviews a model that I've completed and uh, this is a 148 scale model by Ravel of the F89 uh, D Scorpion uh, you can either make a D or a J, I made the D the D has uh, fuel tanks underneath like these ones uh, but does not have any other additional weapons um, besides these ones uh, it's a very nice model kit, it's quite a big size and uh, most of these uh, lines here are all raised including the uh, uh, rivet lines and uh, panel lines um, some very uh, large wings uh, the canopy I have more decided to mold open so that way you can see inside and here you can see the uh, detail inside of the uh, panel lines sorry the uh, instrument panels you can see here I uh, have painted those those are all hand painted and I achieved the uh, silver on the edges actually through um, dry brushing with uh, aluminum paint and let's have a look here there's the exhaust and uh, I've ended up uh, spraying some exhaust lines here using uh, a wash here are the details for the uh, wheel wells some detail there and this uh, has the uh, disc pads here for the brakes that you can see Fine, nicely molded and uh, these actually are supposed to be molded up when the plane was uh, its landing gear down then uh, these um, uh, covers actually went back up uh, you can also see I sprayed on some uh, dirt for behind the uh, exhaust for the rocket pods these are rocket pods here so all in all it's a very nice uh, model we've got some nice decals and uh, quite a nice result. So here are the instructions uh, for the uh, Scorpion. Uh, there are the colors used, and you can make the D or the J version. I uh, like the uh, gun pods on the side, so I made the D version, and then molded in the fuel tanks. You can also have the fuel tanks on the sides and the weapons uh, underneath the wing. Uh, let's have a look inside. Here are of instructions. We have the fuselage here. We build the uh, cockpit. We have two seats going on there with their different uh, instrument panels. We put in our uh, engine and uh, lower half of the fuselage. Next, we put in our exhaust and uh, put some air scoops. We have the air intakes. And uh, next we start off with our uh, uh, landing gear. Then our wings are built. And wings are attached. We put in our uh, landing gear for the main gear. And then depending on which one you want, if you want the D, you're gonna put in the fuel tanks underneath. And uh, also for the D, you're gonna put in the rocket pods. You have those pod caps there. Uh, alternative is to make the J. The J is put pylons on underneath. And uh, there's some of the weapons. And then they had the fuel tanks um, on the wing tips. There's the J version. And next the tail and the stabilizer are put on as well as pitter tubes, and sensors. And uh, then the canopy is put on. open or closed. They do also recommend putting in a support peg. I really hate those. So I end up putting a weight in the nose. And it also makes the airplane feel a little more sturdy. So here is the F89D version, which is the one that I made. And then there is the J version, which is fuel mounted, fuel tanks and mounted on the wings, wing tips rather than underneath. So all in all, it's a pretty, uh, pretty well to build a fair amount of detail uh, and a nice result.